This video is 20 Microsoft Teams tips and tricks. If you're looking for a specific tip, check the timestamps in the video description so you can skip ahead. Our first tip is how to change your Teams status. You can show as available, busy, away, do not disturb, be right back or offline. You can also include a status message for example, I like to let my colleagues know when I'm at lunch so they aren't expecting a response until I'm back, or if I'm in a training session and won't be able to respond for a few hours. Next up, we have screen sharing. When you're in a meeting or on a call, you can share your screen by clicking here. To stop sharing your screen, it's the same button. Now let's take a look at text formatting. When you're in a chat, you might want to format your text. You can do that by clicking here. You can also at mention, which is particularly useful in group chats when you want to specify the person you are speaking to. You can also mark messages as urgent or important. To mark a message as urgent or important, click here. If you mark the message as urgent, the recipient will receive notifications until the message is acknowledged. Marking as important will look like this. Unfortunately, if you are using the Teams desktop application, replying to a message isn't obvious. To reply to a message in the desktop app, press Shift and the greater than arrow. You will then copy the message you are replying to, paste it in the chat and press Enter. Did you know there is a keyboard shortcut to bring up the oh-so-important emoji menu? If you're on a PC, this shortcut is Windows and full stop. On a Mac, the shortcut is Control command space While we're on the fun stuff, did you know you can also edit your stickers? It's super easy. Simply click here to access stickers and edit the text box here. Moving on now to tabs and apps. There are lots of add-ons you can use with Teams. Click the plus sign here and choose from a huge selection. I use Excel a lot and I have a video on this channel demonstrating how to use the whiteboard app Freehand by Envision. The next tip is one of my favorite features in Teams. It's the Who application. Simply search who in the search box and ask a question about someone in your organization, like who is Alicia Fairclough. You will find out who this person is and you can also find out who their manager is, as well as their peers and their place in the organization chart. Speaking of the search box, popping a forward slash in there will give you speedy access to a wide variety of commands forward slash keys is particularly useful as it will give you all of the team's keyboard shortcuts. The next tip is to pin chats with people you frequently contact. You can do that by looking up the contact and pressing your three dot menu and selecting pin. This will pin the chat to the top of your chat list. You can also save specific messages by clicking our little three dot menu over the message in question and selecting save. Your saved messages can be found by clicking on your profile picture. Another super handy feature of Teams is that it makes it really easy to collaborate on files in a chat. In this example, I am sharing a OneNote file with my colleague, Julia. I did this by adding a OneNote tab. We can both edit this text and changes are saved automatically. Changing your background is incredibly handy for fairly obvious reasons. To change your background before you enter a meeting, click background filters. You can blur your background, use a variety of ready-made backgrounds, or you can even upload your own. If you would like to change your background once you're in a meeting, click our friendly little three dot menu again. Tip number 19 today is when you are in a group meeting, try out together mode. You've probably seen images like this going around a lot lately. 
you can enable Together Mode by ensuring your software is up to date and new meeting experience is enabled. Once you're in a meeting, select Together Mode from the three dot menu. And my final Microsoft Teams tip for today is to download the Teams mobile app. It works really well and will no doubt prove very handy. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I would also love it if you left a comment with your favorite Microsoft Teams tip. Before I go, a little bonus tip from me is to be sure to follow EA How To on LinkedIn. And if you're an assistant or an aspiring assistant, join the EA How To Facebook group. It's a private group for assistants only and an incredible global community. Bye for now.